Cubs hosting the Padres, and the Padres are minus 126 on the money line. The Cubs are plus 108, the over-under, 8.5 runs. The Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 128, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two or more. And the Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 154, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you would, they lose by one, you win. Cease pitched once against the Cubs this year. Six innings, two runs, neither, none of them which were earned, and they won that game 10-2, to two and he struck out seven. Wisniewski pitched once against the Padres last year. Five innings, one run, one earned. He struck out three. They won that game 5-2. to two. The weather for tomorrow's game is supposed to be 68 degrees, 6% chance of rain, and 8-mile-an-hour winds blowing from the right to the left. Head-to-head, -head, the Padres are 6-4. and four. The home team is 6-4. and four. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 7-3. and three. There have been three one-run games in their last 10, including the game they played against each other today. The under is 7-3, and three, and the under 8.5 runs is 7-3. and three. The Padres are 4-1 and one in Cease's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 1.6, averaging 6 and a third innings pitched. The under has hit in his last three starts, and the under is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. Six innings pitched, 2.8 hits, two runs, 1.6 of which were earned, seven strikeouts per game, two walks, and 98.6 pitches. So reverting back to his Cy Young level, you know, I get it. The White Sox are a bummer of a team, so it could kill anyone's uh, spirit, so to speak. For the Cubs, they're 1-4 in Wisniewski's last five starts. They've lost his last two starts. The under or the over under is 2 2 and 1. He's averaging four innings pitched, 3.2 hits, 2.4 runs, 1.8 of which were earned, 4.6 strikeouts, 1.2 walks, and then 64 pitches. So it's going to be a bullpen game for the Cubs tomorrow. The Padres are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The over is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and they are 5-1 and one in their last 6. 8 runs, 14 runs, 15 runs, 9 runs, 7 runs and a win, 13 runs and a win, 4 runs and a loss, and then 6 runs and a win. And I don't think it had today's game. It did not have today's game. Where they won 3-2. to two. Forgive me, the Padres lost 3-2 to two today. So they are 2-2 two and two in that last four. I don't know why this didn't update. Loves to piss me off. Uh, the Cubs are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Oh, no. 3-1 three and, oh. three and one in their last four. 11 runs, 5 runs, 9 runs, and then 5 runs again. 6 runs in a win, 5 runs in a win, 3 runs in a loss, and then 3 runs in the win today. Cease is one of these guys that when I pick with him, he screws me, and when I pick against him, he screws me, and then pair that with the fact that he's on the Padres now who love to do this to me. I'm going to take the Padres anyway. I just think that they're playing a little bit better right now. I'm going to take the Padres with the money line. I'll take the Padres laying the runs, and I'll go under. I don't know how deep in this game Wisniewski's is going to go. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.